Yeah, that is actually an incredibly interesting question because of the security model that ChatGPT is approaching with this, uh, where they're basically not allowing dynamic tool creation at all. Really? So, so once once they discover a tool, you can't like wipe it for mm -hmm. someone else logging in? Yeah, so if I go into, when I connected this MCP server initially, ChatGPT went and it scanned all of the, the actions and all of the tools in the server. And then it goes and it like preserves that and it caches it locally. And I think this is their attempt to avoid like rug pull attacks. Yeah. Where a tool changes its definition out from under you and starts doing yeah. something different later on. And inside the, the chat GPT docs, um, I found this very, very interesting in their app developer guidelines. Once your app is listed in the directory, Names, signatures, and descriptions are locked. And if you want to significantly change your tool behavior, add a new uh, tool, uh, change the way that it's called, then you have to resubmit the app for review and they're going to actually have a human look at it. Wow. So I find this really, really fascinating because part of the MCP spec allows mm -hmm. you to change out tools and it can be under an authenticated call. Mm -hmm. So like Max can log in and have a different tool set than what Alex can log into and have a totally another one. So that's that's interesting. But OpenAI is is really locking down and saying, you know what? I want your server to be consistent. I want it to do the same thing every time. I want it to be like a, a classic API and for you not to uh, ship breaking changes and new behavior. Yeah. I want almost a, a manual upgrade process for every step of the way. And we'll see if it stays like that. We'll see if it uh, goes in a different direction later.